I'm gonna be really honest with y'all. I did not realize that I was wearing a green shirt and wearing the green screen until I started setting it up. Um, but I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna rock and roll with it, baby. <laughs> okay. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> Hello everybody. Remember how I said in the last video that I am not a scientist? I'm an unofficial scientist? Well today, I'm going to be an unofficial chemist. Because today we are doing the glitzy chemistry kit. Steam kit. And uh, I'm gonna, it says create your own fizzing solutions right there and at the top it says create perfume and lip gloss it says right there baby i know how to read it. anyway so we're gonna open this and we're gonna see what's inside because i already put on some lip gloss but i can take it off i can take it off and you know what i need some perfume okay it's been a long day i'm sweaty i smell bad Blah. anyways okay let's see what's inside the first thing that I grabbed is the chemist, no, blah, blah, blah. hello, glitzy chemistry instruction manual. Um, and it tells you everything, okay, let's see, it says what the kit includes. Is this also green? Wait, I think it's a different green though, so I think it'll be fine. Um, it says the kit includes, and then it lists everything. Introduction, here's the introduction. This glitzy chemistry kit is designed to show you how to mix and create stylish cosmetics and cool compounds. Always follow the instruction booklet carefully and have it on hand throughout each experiment. Before beginning each experiment, have an adult lab partner to supervise and assist. Clean all lab equipment thoroughly between experiments. Have fun learning! Girl! Hey. Guess what? I'm an adult, so I don't need an adult lab partner because I am my lab partner but just in case I do have a lab partner Dorito 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 hi do you want to be my lab partner this is my lab partner come on. Come on. up here hi you say hi to the camera this is my lab partner so just in case I need an adult supervision I have this little boy this little boy look Say hi. <laughs> okay, you can go back on the patio. You wanna go back outside? You can go back outside. Okay, you wanna stay right there? Okay. So the first thing that we can do is the lava perfume, or we can do the lip gloss, or the fizz and foam, the boil and bubble, or boil and bubbly. Boil and bubble, hello, I cannot read. Um, bigger bubbles or sending shivers. Okay, so I want to do the lip gloss. Bye. I'll tell you if I need you, okay? Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna do the lip gloss. So, let's see what else is in here. Ooh, okay, so we got this thing. Ooh, and this came out of it. I don't know if we're gonna need this or if this is just a part of the thing. All right. And, ooh, I just break something. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. So now we have the contents that are inside this bag, and let's see what's in here. All right, we have this baggie that has the pink mica powder lip gloss base. Um, there is a hair in here. I swear to God. Y'all see that? Is that literally a hair? That is not my hair. Anyway. Whoa, where'd it go? Yeah, that is literally not my hair. Cute. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. Now we have these little beakers with a popsicle stick. They look like attachments for this. Ooh, and we have this big beaker in here. Wow, with this little measuring thing. Okay, so let's, let's see, I need the picture. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use this picture to tell me how to put this together. Okay, so this looks like it goes right here. Okay, perfect fit. And 
Let's see what else. Um, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna see what's inside here. Okay, we have these two pipettes. We got two little pipettes. And then we have this cylinder. I don't think this is called a beaker. Clearly, I'm not a real scientist because I don't even know what this is called. Um, we have this. Oh, I think this is for the. Oh, this is for the perfume. It's like a little roller ball. That's cute. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna put this. Oh, does that go there? Oh wait, no. The lip gloss is over right here. No. Wait, is this for the lip gloss? I think this is for the lip gloss. And then, wait, no, this is for the perfume. I'm tripping. Wait, these are for, okay, I don't know. We're gonna figure out what everything is for. Okay, so we have these things that clip onto here like this. Okay. And then we have this one. Goes in like that, perfect. And then we attach these little things. They have like a little star or whatever shape that is. And you put this, let's see, there's one that goes up here. Perfect. And then according to the picture, there's another one that goes lower down. Oh, it goes on the other side. This side. And then we have the one that goes in the front. Oh, hello. Okay. Just like that. And that. Oh my God. And that's what it looks like. Cool. So that Okay. Now, and then we have this thing. That's like literally just off to the side. And then we have the little pipette that looks like it's, okay, is this supposed to go further up? Like, I'm not sure. Okay, well this looks like it's supposed to go here. And this looks like it's being held in here. What, that doesn't even fit, do y'all see that? <laughs> like, okay, like whatever. Um, and then it looks like this is right here, but this literally doesn't even fit right there, so. Weird, anyway, we are doing the lip gloss. So we're gonna do the lip gloss, okay? So we got that set up, we got this, take it out. Okay, now, time for the instructions. Let's put the box away. Okay, let's do the instructions, let's do the thing. All right, for the lip gloss, the lab equipment, you're gonna need the lip gloss base. So I'm gonna find the lip gloss base in this little packet which is this one right here, and it looks like this. So it's literally already lip gloss, and we're probably just gonna color it. See how it's clear? Anyway, so that's cool, that's fun, funky, fresh. Um, okay, lip gloss base, um, flavor dropper. Is that this? Oh, this is the rose fragrance. This is the perfume base. That's the perfume ba base. This is the rose fragrance. This is the cotton candy flavor. And then this is the propylene glycone solution. Scary, very chemically. I think this is the flavor dropper. And we're also gonna need the propylene glycol solution, which is this one right here. And the mixing stick, the mixing bowl, which I'm assuming is this. I think this is the mixing bowl. <clears throat> a pipette. Wait. Flavor dropper. Oh, wait, is this the flavor dropper? Oh, the cotton candy flavor. That's the flavor dropper because this is the pipette. And then we need the roller lip gloss bottle. The roller lip gloss bottle. Oh my God, wait, is this it? Is this the roller lip gloss bottle? Oh, because I mean like that's like a roller perfume bottle. So I didn't know that you could use this for lip gloss. So I'm assuming that this is that this is right. Okay, we're trusting the instructions. Um, and then chemistry station. So we have the chemistry station right here. Um, okay, instructions, here we go. Let's get started. Ah, okay, 
So number one, remove the cap from one of your roller perfume bottles and carefully unscrew the roller ball top. So we're gonna carefully unscrew. We're gonna carefully unscrew this. Hello? You can see. It's coming out very carefully. Come on. Okay, cool. I got that apart. Um, ask an adult for help if you are having difficult. If you are having difficult. Well, I don't know how you can have difficult, but I uh, succeeded by myself. So I did not need Dorito to help me. Um, put all of your lip gloss base into the mixing bowl. Then, okay, so we're gonna put all of them. Where's the mix? Oh, this. We're gonna put all of the lip gloss base into the mixing bowl. Then empty the bottle of fragrance into the mixing bowl. Fragrance? I thought we were doing flavor. Okay, wait. Okay, this says fragrance, but at first it says flavor. So I'm gonna assume that it means flavor and not fragrance. Um, into the mixing bowl and add 10 drops of propylene glycol solution. Mix them together with your mixing stick. Carefully pour your mixture into the roller bottle. Place the roller ball top back on securely and close the bottle with its cap. To apply the lip gloss, just remove the cap and roll onto your lips. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. This, this seems like a very liquidy solution. Okay, like it seems very liquidy. Like you see how it's just very watery. Like, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like, you know, like a pretty watery solution. I'm assuming, okay, I'm assuming that this propylene glycol solution is the thing that's gonna make it feel like a lip gloss and make it like that thick consistency. Okay, now just keep following along with, with, with my hesitancy here, okay? Because if I pour it all into the mixing bowl, okay, remember I have every all the contents here. How do I, like, like, hold on. like, do you see what I'm, do you, do you see what I'm talking about? Like, how do I, how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? Because I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. Um, okay. So let's just do the first step. Okay. Let's just do the first step. Okay. I read all the instructions. Let's just do the first step. So we're going to move the cap. We already did that. Okay. Now we're going to put all of the base, all of the lip gloss base into the, into the mixing bowl. So I'm just squeezing it out, like all in there, like literally just squeezed it all out. Fun. Wow. Okay. Cool. I think I got it all out. Just gonna let it hover for a second. Um, then empty the bottle of fragrance into the mixing bowl. Again, I think it meant I think it meant flavor, not fragrance. So I'm just gonna put the actual. Okay, it doesn't smell like it. It does not smell like anything. But you guys should not smell things that you don't know what they actually are, especially when there are no ingredients on it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna empty the whole cotton candy flavor. This is what it looks like, the cotton candy flavor. We're just gonna open that up. Ah! Well, looks like that. So we're just gonna pour it in there, the whole thing. Oh, it does kind of, well, um, I wouldn't say it smells like cotton candy, but it does smell sweet. It kind of smells like a, like a bare vanilla like scent, um, like a kind of like, a, like what a vanilla fragrance would smell like in a lotion. That's what it smells like. Okay. So I emptied it out. And then I'm going to put 10 drops of propylene glycol solution in it. So this is empty. This is empty. So that's when the pipette comes in. So I'm going to open this up. This is gross okay like just look at that like do y'all see how like dirty that is please don't y'all see that don't see that i don't know it's like dirty so um any 
anyway. Mm -hmm. I can open it. Okay. Wait. How am I supposed to? Okay. How am I supposed to get 10 drops of this? Okay. So I don't think the pipette's gonna work for anything. So we're just gonna put 10 drops of this in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay. And then now we're going to mix them together with the mixing stick. We're just going to mix this together like this. And then after we mix it, we're just gonna pour it into the roller ball carefully. It says to do it carefully. So I'm just mixing this. I don't know what chemical reaction I'm waiting for. Um, it's still watery. So I guess we're just gonna keep mixing it. Okay, I mixed this for a minute. And um, it's not seeming to get, it's not seeming like it's getting any thicker. Um, I feel like it's just getting bubbly, but I'm not going to add any more glycol, propylene glycol solution. So I'm just going to keep it at the exact recipe, okay? Um, the exact instruction, my bad. Um, so now we're going to carefully pour this into the roller ball oh am i supposed to be mixing it on this thing whoops i haven't even used this my bad my bad anyway okay so i guess we're going to try to put um the green so that way you guys can actually see what I'm doing okay. hello can I button this I'm gonna try to button it give me a minute I don't know why this is very difficult to button hello see it's not letting me button it come on let me button you there we go all right cool I got a button and okay i'm just gonna pop my collar there we go all right now you can't see this okay so now hopefully you can only see this right here that do you see this cool probably still not anyway so we're gonna carefully pour this in here i'm gonna move that and this is the consistency we don't see that it's just kind of dripping and i'm gonna let me see, can I bring y'all in closer? Can I do this like any closer? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Okay. So I'm just gonna wiggle it. As you can tell, I'm in a Hamilton 
um, fanatic mood. Um, I just discovered Hamilton and it's fantastic. I haven't watched it yet, but I am gonna watch it. And, um, yeah. Hello. Just done. You see what I mean? This is like literally like. Come on. I'm almost done. Room where it happens. The room where it happens. The room where it happens. Okay. That's the best I'm gonna do. the side and we filled it up we actually caught oh man i dropped some out Ugh. hang on let me go get a napkin oh, i should have put that in the other okay i got it cleaned up so yes i'm excited that i got that i cannot wait to look back at this footage and see what the heck my face looked like Anyways, that's gross. Get that out of the frame. All right, now I'm gonna unbutton this because I don't wanna see what's done gonna be on my stomach later on. All right, cool. So now we got that on. All right, we got that in there. Now, place the rollerball top back on securely and close the bottle with its cap. So we're gonna, oh lordy. Oh, I just, you just pushed it. Okay. And it rolls. Okay, still rolls, it's still functioning. Okay, so now we have. Okay, there's a fizzing tablet, the pink mica powder, and the blue mica powder. What gets to use the mica powder? I don't get any color on my lip gloss. It's just clear lip gloss, as if I'm not using clear lip gloss, but like, come on, wait a second, I just realized that. What? I wanted a pink lip gloss. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, so I'm gonna take off the lip gloss that I have now, and we're gonna test this. So, I'll be right back. I was cold. I was cold. Well, this isn't the consequences of my own actions. Hello, Margarita. Do you like my Mickey Mouse question? Look here. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to my Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Do you like my lip gloss? Oh, I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Hello. Do you like my lip gloss, sir? Do you like my lip gloss? Where are you going? Do you like the background? I don't think he likes the background or my voice. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I got the lip gloss off as best as I could, okay. So, let's see how this looks. Um, okay, so I'm really curious to see how this is gonna like roll it on. So I'm just gonna kind of roll it like this. Oh, that's probably why it's like really watery because so that way you can use it as a roller. So if you can see, it's just a little shiny. Okay, that's just the lip gloss. It smells, like I said, it smells like, like vanilla, like a vanilla fragrance. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it on my lips. I feel it, it just kind of feels like water, actually. Okay, here's the bottom lip, and there's the top lip. You guys see a difference? I don't. Hello. Dorita, do you like it? Do you like the lip gloss? Hmm? Come up, come up here. Right here. Come up. No, he doesn't want to come up anymore. Okay. This is not wow. Like it's literally just getting dry on my lips. Look. See, like I put it on and then it just gets dry again. Like this is not, like, I just. Like it's just not working. Okay, like it's just. 
Like it's literally not staying on my lips. Like I don't know what to tell you. Like watch. Like. You see, like it's, there's nothing. There's nothing, it's not working. It's not working, hello. I mean, to be fair, it is a roller ball lip gloss. So chances are that probably was not gonna work. Man, I had high hopes. I wonder if maybe now, if I put some, um, it does not taste like bubble gum. All right, what is it, cotton candy? It does not taste like cotton candy. Hello, can I not take this out? Hello, I'm trying to squeeze some more of that propylene solution in here. Hello. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squeeze some more of this in here and see if it works. What? I'm just squeezing it in here. Okay. I don't know how much I, I don't know how many drops I squeeze in there because I put a lot. I guess y'all didn't see that, but. Okay. Now we're gonna, ah, lordy. Okay. Now we're gonna snap that back on. I'm just gonna shake it. Is this what you're supposed to do? No. Girl, I don't even have the cap on. Okay. I don't know if this is doing anything, but okay, let's try that now. Okay. Um. Nothing. It just literally feels like I'm putting water on my lips. That is all it feels like. Like I'm putting water on my lips okay well well that's my lip gloss guys <laughs> you like it <laughs> okay well i tried i tried but that's it for today this is the um glitzy chemistry lab and um there are more experiments in here than just um Oh wait, is this, wait, is this thicker? So I wonder, this is, does this work? It does not taste like cotton candy, but. Um, I don't think that was supposed to go in my mouth. Okay. Anyways, that's my lip gloss, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there are more, um, there are more experiments in here. There are more um, recipes and instructions and stuff in here. There's um, a perfume, a fizz and foam. There is boil and bubble, bigger bubbles, sending shivers. So there are literally more things to do, like we can create these bubbles. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below which one of these experiments you want to see me do next. Um, and comment down below how much you love my lab partner. Hey, Dorito, come here. Come here, dude. Dorito. Dorito, Dorito, Dorito. Well, my lab partner doesn't like me. Um, my lab partner um, didn't show up to class today. Um, he didn't help me. Um, so I had to do the project by myself. Um, so that's um, how that's going. Um, and also I wanna apologize for not looking at the camera. Um, I did get constructive feedback to look at the camera and I just realized that I literally have not been looking at the camera this whole time. Now I'm looking at you. Do you feel me looking at you? I'm looking into your soul. I know how you feel. I know what you ate for breakfast this morning. I know everything about you. I know how you cheated on that test in the seventh grade. How dare you? Don't do that again. Ever again. So yeah, now I'm looking at you. <laughs> anyway, so comment down below which experiments you want me to do. If you want me to do any other kids, comment that down below. And um, subscribe because I got a lab coat now. I am an unofficial scientist and an unofficial chemist and here I am 
chemistrying it up, staining it up, doing the whole shebang for you, for me, for my own entertainment, for my own pleasure, for my own fun, while my dog judges me over there in the room. Dorito, bestie, my partner, come here. Dorito. So, uh, my lab partner is actually still upset with me because I failed um, the last project that we had to do together um, and he's still not um, happy about it so um, hopefully I can make it up to him um, with some cuddles and head scratches and um, some treats but um, anyways yes be sure to subscribe